Shooter is still on the run tonight. A Rochester homicide investigation continues. One man was found dead last night in the southeast part of town just before 7 p.m. The shooting happened at the home off 10th Street and 1st Avenue Southeast. That's where KIMT News 3's Sonata McCall joins us now from the scene with more information from the Rochester Police Department. Sonata, what can you tell us? Cami, I am actually standing here at the scene and I know it's a little dark, but we're standing in the aftermath right now. Uh, just last night there was police tape up as well as many vehicles that were here, but I am standing on 10th and a quarter street southeast and 1st Ave southeast. This is where everything took place last night and it happened just before 7. The Rochester Police Department responded to a report of a shooting at this home. Now, once first responders arrived, they provided life-saving measures to an adult man, but he was pronounced dead. According to RPD, the shooting did not appear to be random. An adult male was arrested at the scene, but officers said that was for an unrelated warrant. In the midst of all that, the owner of Services by Pete, which is located just across the street from the scene, says he was working late last night. He says he was listening to music, so initially he didn't hear any of the gunshots. I had walked a friend of mine out to his car over there, and uh, like 10 minutes later, the cops all showed up, and uh, but I, yeah, I heard there was gunshots, but I never heard anything. It's kind of scary, but yeah, but I stay in my shop mostly. Now, Pete said he was actually doing landscaping for this home earlier in the summer, but he did also say that this is not something that's common for this neighborhood. However, he does say that he hopes the suspect is caught. And we did learn from RPD that they said they do believe that this was not a random shooting and that they don't find any threat to the community. But they say if you do see any signs or locate the suspect, possibly give them a call. And uh, that's all that I have so far. Live in Rochester, KIMT News 3, Sonata McCall. All right, Sonata, thank you so much. This is a story that we'll continue to follow here at KIMT News 3. We are working to learn the name of the victim. We will continue to bring you updates as soon as we learn them.